Okay, this is going to be a short little summit that's kind of uh, talking about the Photoshop um, wall portrait assignment. So this is what it looked like when you were finished with the summit. We're taking a brick wall, okay, and you're taking any kind of image you want to, and you're applying it to that brick wall and making it look like it's part of the brick wall there. So like more like a graffiti or a picture on the brick wall. So I'm going to go back to Canvas here, and what I'm going to do is I click on the assignment here. I'm just on the you know design principles on the modules. Click on the Photoshop with the wall portrait assignment, and then I'll click on the first link here. The first link will open up this uh, just blank brick wall. And what you're going to do is just download it. When it downloads, you'll see it down here, and you want to click on that, and it'll open up your brick wall in Photoshop. So for you as a student, when you're doing that, when you click on the brick wall and open it in Photoshop, it might... I'm pretty sure it will have you log in. And anytime you want to log in, you always want to log in with Google and just use your school Google account and your password. Okay. If you need help, get my attention. I'll come around and help you. Okay. Um, this summit, we want to um, just now you want to just go and find another image. Okay. I'm going to go back to Google and I just want to go to Google search. And this is, I want you to find any kind of image you want to use. Let's say you can use a flower or, you know, a bike or a car or any kind of image you want to, an image of a person, an image of, you know, anything. Okay. I'm just using a dog. Okay. So you search the things, you choose the images here. And let's say I want to use this dog right here. I like this dog. Okay. And I want to right click on the image. And that's the right side of your mouse with your uh, middle finger. And choose Save Image As. And I just I want to keep the same name. You need to say JPEG or PNG. If later on, if you're trying to open in Photoshop and it's giving you an error message, like it will not open, get my attention. Anytime you're having an error message, get my attention. Okay? Don't say, don't change the name. Click Save. Uh, it'll be right there. Okay? Now we're going to go back to Photoshop. Now I want to open that assignment. So click on open or open that uh, photo you say. Click on open, file open here. And I'm going to click on the very top. I'm going to go to my downloads here, go to the very top image. It should be just the image I just downloaded. So click on open. And that image now is in Photoshop. And what I want to do is I'm going to grab the fourth little tool down. One, two, three, four. And it's called the quick selection tool. And I want to click on that. And I've got these two options, like a plus symbol and a minus symbol, like add, subtract. So I want to click on add, and I want to click on just that image of the dog. I don't want the background. So I want to click on just the image of the dog. Click and drag over the dog and select him, okay? So if I'm grabbing it and it grabbed a little too much, that's okay. So yes, I just grabbed the whole thing, okay? Now I want to subtract. And I want to subtract the background. That's with a minus symbol. So click and drag over the background. And the computer judge does a little better job of actually grabbing the edge of the of the puppy there. Okay. And so just grabbing. So pretty good job there. If you have an image that uses a lot of dark colors, it's going to take you more time. You have to click back and forth a few times. Plus symbol, minus symbol. You want the select. The plus symbols of your image and you're going to subtract the background so you have to go back and forth you might have to use like the, this little selection is kind of jagged right here if you want to you can actually click the select and mask and kind of make that a little it's kind of jagged right here so let's say i want to smooth out a little bit more so it's just smoothing it out and like so i can just smooth it out and click okay okay and then i want to grab the tab just like uh, Chrome has tabs, click and drag that tab down. And then I'm going to grab the top tool. It's called the Move tool. Click on that. Now click on the puppy or your image and drag it over to the brick wall. And let go of your mouse. And magically, it's been copied over. Now I can just close that image here. I don't want to save it in here. And now I've got the puppy. Okay. If you need to resize that image, you can click Edit and Free Transform. Grab the little box, the handlebars, and just make it whatever size you want to. Let's say I want to make it, uh, I like it, you know, about this size here. Okay. 
So I can click on, just click on the check mark, click on it kind of thing. So the first thing we need to do is we need to apply filter to it. So we're going to click on have your puppy or your image selected. That's highlighted here. You can see it's highlighted. Now I click on filter and filter gallery. Now, when you open this up, it will look, it will be closed like that. So you want to use an artistic filter. And I, I would probably use uh, maybe fresco or I like poster edges on this one. Um, if you want to like use some other ones, you can like, I don't really like these other ones too much. It kind of gets dark on there and this one's kind of blurry. Maybe paint daubs be okay. Um, I like sponge though. Or, no, I'm sorry, poster edges. I like that one. So click OK. Choose whatever filter you like. Okay. Then one thing you have to do, one last thing you have to do is double click on the image there and add a stroke. So you have to click on the words, not the uh, little box. Click on the words. And it gives you option to change your nature, changing the width of this little thing here. I'm going to change this to outside, right here, outside. So that way I can just, you know, keep that the same thing. Uh, if you want to change it to about five, that'd be fine. Which is okay. It's just putting an outline on your image. That's all I did. I Made it look. That's what a stroke is, outline. And then um, I want to change the blend mode. This is called a blend mode and change it to multiply. I like the multiply because it makes the image part of the brick wall. Okay. It looks like the dog is actually part of the brick wall. And then right the, uh, now I need to right click on this blank area next to the layer one. And I'm going to click merge visible. Okay. Now I can actually just click on edit and, uh, transform down here in perspective. And now I can grab the brick wall and drag it up a little bit to like it's kind of on angle there. And then just click off and I have an inch there. So I need to save it. Click file, save as. And I just save the same name, just Photoshop. Click on save, so and downloads. And yes, I want to replace it. She's okay. Now I'm going to go back to Canvas and I'm going to turn them in. So I'm going to go back to Canvas. Uh, new attempt to start, whatever. Click upload, choose, and I click the very top of my downloads folder. Like I downloads, choose wall portrait. I didn't change the name. Choose open and click submit assignment. And then it will submit the assignment. Okay. If you want to make sure that is the correct one, so you click on download the image you just saved, or you just upload and click on that again, it'll open up back in Photoshop and it hasn't changed at all because that's the picture that I uploaded to um, Canvas. So that will finish the summit. Okay.